guys are trying to one quarter, so you guys have to come back and pick up some stuff and then you can two. So first I'd like to say that they never addressed that um, our thing about uh, a lot of teenagers having a giant physical advantage against others. And that's kind of what we were trying to say about the varsity thing, is that in these um, school competitions, it's more like a wider age group, um, so that um, there's a lot of different, and also this is a time when everyone is really growing, so there's a lot of um, different or difference in um, height, weight, and size, and so that can really lead to injuries, and also that, so, um, what we were trying to say is, so um, you're gonna get picked on if like if a small kid joins a team and he's not really that good, he's and he like misses a shot, he's gonna get picked on by the larger kids, and um, that also ties into the whole jock thing. Um, yeah. So also how you said school coaches like no education comes first. Um, rec leagues are normally on. Um, uh, most of the time on the weekends, so there is nothing really to interfere with school. And also, I know, um, in my experience with rec leagues, they make sure that you've done your, that you have good grades in school, and they ask parents a lot of the times. Um, also, you said that the uh, football generates money, um, but it's not generating enough money to support itself and other stuff. So, because of like all the stuff you have to buy, it's not even supporting itself. So. Um, also, um, you did not really address how practices and games and pep rallies can interrupt school. Uh, that was not ever addressed. Um, also, I'd like to get back to my point that all of the um, all these advantages can be achieved with other activities.